Okay. This is the, our drip water kits that you know we ship out to people. It'll, it'll have some of these drip nozzles and a little tube with a, a, a nipple on it and your hose. And I'm going to show you how to put everything together. First, your hose. In order to close one end of the hose off, this figure eight is a shutoff for the hose. On the end, end of the line, you're going to have that. And that acts as the stop. And if you ever want to drain the system, you just open it up, bingo, and you got it. Okay? Now, to unroll the tube along the length of the trees you want to do, pretend this is your roll of tube. Do not take it off this way, off th because everything will have a cast to it, and you'll have to be fooling around with a cast in the, the tube. You take it off like this, along the length of the row of the tree. And as you do that, it will lose the cast that is on the spool. So that's the next thing. When you get to the end of the line, you're going to attach your hose attachment. And that's a compression fitting. You push that on here, and you screw it on. Now that's on there. Now, slowly, along the length of the trees, okay, you're going to put your drip line. And this is the individual drip line that you're going to put to the trees. The way you connect this to the tube is thus. You take it, and you want to put it on the side, not on top. Just take this and push this in. Right like that. Then this nipple just pushes into the pipe. Like that. And now you're ready to go. Now this nipple right here has two sides. This is the feed side and this is the side that goes into the ground. The feed side has a small slice in it. You want to make sure you push this on but not all the way down because if it goes all the way down and over top of this lip and covers up that slice no water can come out. Now what you do is when it's on the ground you take your spike and you push it into the center of the tree and then the water will come out when you turn the hose on. Now this hose adapter has in some cases you'll find a small nickel inside with a hole in it and that's to help reduce the pressure along the line of the, the feed line because your household pressure is up to like 60 pounds and 60 pounds into this feed line can be more water than what you're going to need so we usually put a re pressure reducing nickel in there so that it takes the water pressure down. Now if you ever get a cut in your pipe, say you get a nick or a weed whacker hits it and you need to fix it, what you do is you take a half inch barb coupler and you push it in like that. And now you have a union and that's how you connect two lengths of pipe together as well. Now if you want to put a line out, a separate line out, we can sell you a, a T. And you just cut the pipe, insert the T, and create a new line out. You can usually get about a hundred to two hundred trees to be fed from one line without a problem and you'll have to be careful just that you don't overwhelm the trees with water it's going to save you a lot of water having this system in if at any point one of these breaks off because somebody steps on it or a weed whacker gets it you take a pair of pliers and you pull this out and I usually have extra drip lines in the in the kit for you so that you if you do have a broken one you should have plenty of extra drip lines and we have many different types. Some are made by John Deere, some are made by uh, this one is uh, Robert's Irrigation. They're all pretty much the same. They have one end that goes into the ground and one end that goes into the spaghetti tubing. It's a very easy system to use and to be put together. Thank you. Okay.
Here at Highland Hill Farm, we raise and sell many different types of viburnums. Two viburnums that we grow and sell are called the Blue Muffin Viburnum, which is the one that's in flower, and the Chicago Luster Viburnum, which does not have flowers on it yet. At first, they look very similar. They both have white flowers. They both have green, glossy leaves. They both have blue berries in the fall. Both of their leaves turn to a, a reddish purple color in the fall. Both of their leaves have serrated margins on them. And finally, both of them have the same growth form and habit. But what makes them separate is the size of which each of them get to. The blue muffin, which is this one, grows to be seven foot tall and seven foot wide. The Chicago Luster grows to be about 10 foot tall and 10 foot wide. Both of them grow at the same growth rate, but if in your landscape, if you do not want a bush that grows to be 10 foot tall and 10 foot wide, you choose the smaller one and that can fit your landscape build. Both of them are great plants. Both of them we both use here on the farm rather than just growing and selling them, we do use them for ornamental display purposes. They are nice viburnums. This is the flower cluster of the blue muffin viburnum. And you can see the ones that are a little bit on the yellow side are not open and it opens to a nice bright full white flower cluster. At Highland Hill Farm we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar, in the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs including Winterberry Holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.